Hey there, in this video we are gonna show you how to use Thingsworld to control a motor in a real industrial environment with Factory IO. We will be using OPC UI and MQTT protocols with no red to make it work. If you are interested, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is go to the website uh, from no red in order to install. So you can go here in run locally in getting started and you can follow these instructions and after this uh, you, you should open a terminal and put in here no red and this will create a new server in your computer with these directions so I have already created one here and um, well here for in scratch uh, you have to create or you have to install a new library this library is called no red contrib opc ua server uh, after do after you install this library this new node will appear here in the sections so you have to drop down here and you have to configure these sections the most important thing is the settings the address space and the discovery so uh, because I have already created one let me copy and paste my own note and let me enable okay so uh, I will deploy my OPC server in this port and also I create just a new just a one variable called star so this is a type boolean and uh, in this tab you will see the endpoint for the URL directions so if I go to this OPC TCP directions you can see for example here in UI expert uh, well in these sections should be up here all oh, right just because it's not running let me deploy it okay <clears throat> let me click on here again okay let me connect this all right so you can see here this is a new tag called start so let me drop down here and you will see this is a type boolean and the current value is false and the server name is no red all right so uh, let me open factory io in order to read this tag from my opc server so again if you don't know factory io factory io is a very nice tool or nice uh, software to emulate your industry application so i will create a new essence for example you have here a lot of essence and i will create this all right after do that uh, we have to go file on driver and you have to create a new opc client go to configurations and here in the host name we need the url for our opc server so if you go to you a expert you can see here in properties we have uh, our endpoint url just copy and paste paste this here click and browse server 
and choose the no red compact all right so if you go again uh, well you will see here uh, our OPC client connected and I think is everything okay all right just let me put in here uh, browse this new uh, node that I create this is the node start and um, well this will control the conveyor so let me go again um, right now this tag start is uh, the value is false if I change the true the conveyor should be start all right and if I put false here should be a stop all right so so the connection uh, through OPC UA is working so right now the OPC server is running in no red and then we have one client in factory IO that is reading that value uh, more specify the star node and when I change the value uh, from any any uh, interface so we can control the conveyor so um, the next step we're going to do is trying to connect our no red with things for in order to do that so we can first uh, test the connection between no read and things for and trying to send some telemetry data so let me copy and paste these notes and also I will put enable and as you can see here, this is a note, this is an ng note that we are sending some values, in this case for temperature. Um, and this is our topic or our note that is MQTD out. So here, as you can see, uh, this is our topic and you have to configure the things for server. So, if you put in here edit, you will see this is the name our things for. You have to put in here uh, your server. In my case, I am using the MQTT things for that cloud. This is the port. And also in the security, here you have to put in the token from your uh, device. So, if you go to things for, for example, I will create a new device here device 3 and I will copy this token close and we update it okay so if I deploy this and I will send this value I will review if this value is uh, receiving in our device and last telemetry all right so we have here the temperature the value 10 let me check in again so I will put 20 for example click in deploy I will send 20 if you go, go if you go to this work well the connection is working so we are able to send uh, some values from no read to things work but in this case we are going to use things work to control the conveyor so we have to create a new property in our device that could be called for example motor in in the attribute here in the share attributes and then 
when we change this value uh, we will create a MQTT client that is reading this value and when changes we have to create or we have to send an actions to OPC UI a server to change the value for the star. So let's do that. Uh, well, let me copy and paste this. And let me change enable. All right. So you should use this node and QTT int and this configuration also. So uh, take note that we are using here a new topic. This is topic is device uh, dash me and slash attributes. And also if you click in here in edit, well, you will see the same configuration and our new token from this device. Uh, let me just yes it's the same <clears throat> all right so uh well this node is getting the information from all the attributes from this device and let me create one attribute here that is called motor and the value should be for example false all right so if i go here well i will create a new function that uh, when we receive a, a new value from that attribute so we will return the value for this attribute called motor in the new message so uh, because we are sending uh, a value that could be true or could be false we will create a new node that is called opc you are client and for example this is to create this node you will need to install this library uh, opc for no red after do that you will be see a viable in this uh, section the opc ui so you have to put in here and write after you put in here write uh, you have to configure uh, for example my endpoint the endpoint that i was using here is from my a uh, new opc ui server as you can see this is my endpoint and also here you have to put in the no id so where is the no id the no id is this value you can see here in the sections this is the no id all right so after do that um for example i will deploy it um if i want to test only the connection between opc right uh, we can for example here uh, let me open factory io put in here in my half on my screen if i send true here let me return you will see the conveyor is uh, it's working and if I put false it's a stop it's working stop. so what I want to do is uh, sending this connection from things world so let me open the things world go to my device and of my share attributes and I will change this to true okay so it's working the connection um let me click again i will change this value to false okay and the conveyor is a stop 
So, uh, when we can create a new dashboard using these share attributes, so let me close this and I will create a new dashboard. Go to dashboard, create new task tree. You can add, I will create a new widget. And this widget should be input, for example, uh, yes, update multiple attributes. This is good for our, uh, well, I will use the device and the device number three that we are using. And the, the data keys is model. All right. And this, uh, well, I will use the advanced settings. And this should be a volume that could be a switch, for example. All right. So uh, this is our new dashboard. And this is our factory IO. So let me change this to true in order to start the conveyor. And let me to false. Okay, it's not working. Let me let me see what's happened. Uh, I put in it mode. Let me just see here. In the advanced settings. Okay, this is the problem. So you have to put in here in the share attributes. Put in save. Apply. Save. And I will do the same. Yeah, I put uh, the value in true, the motor and click save, it will start. All right, so I will restart the scene since I put false, send the attributes, the conveyor should stop. So that's it, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and well, see you next time.